the link will take you to this page uh, to FITS interactive simulation page and you need to click on the play button to load the projectile motion app. So as soon as you click on it, it'll take you to a page that looks like this and there'll be four windows that will pop up um, that you can click on. They are introduction, vectors, drag and lab. This video is really to focus on this lab uh, window, the last one. You can have a play with any of these first three windows, but I just want to let you know that the consideration of drag either in the horizontal or vertical directions is not required for unit three. So you do not need to know it for the um, external exam, but it's interesting to have a look so you can have a play. But surely these two win windows will be very useful for you. We're going to now go into the lab. If you click on it, it opens up like this. We want to go to the right hand side, first of all, to choose the object that you're interested in launching. There is a drop down menu that you can click on and you can choose any object that you want to launch. Uh, for me, I'm just going to stick with the cannonball, but you um, as an individual or, in a, or your pair, you can choose any object that you would like to launch. You can also adjust the mass as well as the size of the object and also the value for gravity. So for us, we are just going to consider um, the gravitational value for the Earth, which the data and formulas booklet has denoted to be at 9.8. So I'm going to adjust this down by 0.01 to make it more consistent. Another thing that you can adjust down here below the cannon is this initial launch speed of your object. So I'm going to stick with the 6 to 18 meters per second value that's here. To launch, you just press the little red button down here to launch. If you click on it, it will launch and it shows you the trajectory of the cannonball or whatever object you're choosing to shoot out. There is two measuring devices that are here in the white box. You can use the tape measure, which will allow you to measure the distances between um, two points on here. Um, or alternatively, if you don't want to use a measuring tape, and that's fine. You can choose to use this little other item that's on there. Just click and hold on the left button. And wherever you point the crosshairs, it will show you the time uh, that it takes to reach that particular point, as well as the range and the height. So for the activity that we're going to do from the OneNote, you want to check out the range. In fact, you just need the landing position um, to find the range. So you don't really need the measuring um, tape. So here the value is 11.31. You can then adjust this to any angle of choice you want. You have a fine gradation of a one degree. So I started out at 80. So I'm just going to adjust this to let's say um, 77. Keeping the launch speed the same, you can launch again. And what you'll find is that as you play around with this, you can have an object that is being launched at various angles and you can see the trajectory of what happens to the cannonball. Now, be aware that it starts to get a bit messy if you have lots and lots of trajectories. So one of the really cool things you can do is you use the yellow button down here, which is the eraser which will allow you to erase all of the trajectories. Please have a go now to see if you can find some values uh, to find the relationship between the launch angle and the range.